I was recently talking to a friend and he said it is pretty difficult to get information and apply to German public universities and he's having a pretty hard time. He said that getting guidance on other countries like the UK or Canada is easy, but with Germany it is very tricky. Well, on that note, I had an idea. Hey guys, my name is Shivang and welcome to Leap Scholar. Well, whatever my friend said was true, so I thought why not simplify the whole process in 5 steps, yes, just 5, and make a video that helps everyone who wants to study at a German public university. This video will be super handy, so watch until the end. Also, I have some really good resources in the description box for you to check out, so do take a look. Let us dive straight in. Quite naturally, the first step is do your research and for that, there are primarily two most credible sources you can use. First source is DART website or the German Academic Exchange Service. This website can help you find universities, programs, language of instruction of that particular course, intake, entry requirements, fees and scholarships. Once you do that, your second source comes into picture, that is university websites. So once you have shortlisted your course and universities, visit the university websites to check the course content and if that perfectly matches your requirements. Once you have zeroed on the programs, the next step is to collect the right documents. Second is fairly straightforward as most documents required by German universities will be similar to other countries. Your mark sheets and certificates, passport, proof of language proficiency, this can be German or English depending on the language of instruction, motivation letter and recommendation letters. Some courses may ask for work experience documents, GMAT or GRE or a portfolio. Ideally, you should have all these documents ready before you start your application. You can apply to German universities on your own and it is not a very difficult process. There are two ways to apply. First, direct to the university. Second, use UniAssist. Let me explain both. So to apply to the university directly, you go to the university website, create an account, fill the application form, upload all documents and pay an application fee if required and submit your application. All public universities will have a dedicated guide for international students telling you all about applying documentation and other information available on their websites. In case you are not confident applying yourselves, you can seek help from UniAssist. UniAssist is a body funded by DART and is represented by 170 German universities that helps you with the end-to-end -end process to apply at German universities. I am putting the link to UniAssist in the description box below. There are charges for using UniAssist. For the first choice of course, it is 75 euros and for every additional desired course, it will be 30 euros. For example, if you want to apply to three courses at a single, two or three different universities, the total cost will be 75 plus 30 plus 30, which will be 135 euros. Some universities may waive off this charge. I will highly recommend using UniAssist with your application if you are unsure. Great! Once your admission is sorted, you will need a visa to study in Germany. Let us start with what all documents you need. Completed application forms, passport, biometric photos, proof of admission, language proficiency test, certificates and mark sheets, CV, health insurance, visa application fee, APS and financial documents. Let me explain APS and financial documents for your ease. APS certificate certifies that your level of qualification in your home country is similar to German universities. Without the APS, Indian students cannot apply for a student visa. For getting an APS, you will need to fill an application form and submit documents such as passport, mark sheets, certificates, language certificates along with an application fee of 18,000 Indian rupees. You can apply online. It takes 3 to 4 weeks to process the APS. Next, financial documents. For Germany, the easiest thing to do is to open a blocked account. So a blocked account is essentially like GIC in Canada wherein you will have to deposit 11,208 euros which you can withdraw as fixed monthly installments when you land in Germany. Expatrio, Fintiba and Coracle are a few blocked account providers you can look at. Ideally, you can open a blocked account in 1-2 to two weeks. Cool! Once you have everything sorted, it's time for visa application. For this, start by booking an appointment with the German Embassy in New Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Kolkata or Mumbai. You can do it online by phone or through VFS Global. On the day of your appointment, you should have all your documents including a checklist of documents with your signatures and date. The checklist is available on the German Embassy website. You also have to submit a demand draft less than 2 months old or 6600 rupees application fee along with a demand draft form and a declaration statement. All these documents are in the description box below. Do note that the embassy officer will ask you a few questions on why you want to study in Germany and your course, so be prepared. 
Once you are done, it will take 15 to 30 days to get your visa processed. Do check the links in the description box. I am putting very important resources for you to look at, which includes all the forms required and official helpful resources. In case you need any help, drop your queries in the comments box below and me and my team will be happy to answer all your queries. Hope you find this video super helpful and remember to share it with your friends too. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.